Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats. All right guys, today we have an interesting item for you. This is from Walmart and according to TikTok, Walmart has basically dupes for the sliced loaf breads that Starbucks has. So I picked up a couple of them and we're gonna see how it is because we actually reviewed the Starbucks version of this not too long ago. This is the Walmart market side iced pumpkin spice cake limited time offer. Now this is a dollar versus Starbucks, like I think $3 and something. I was gonna say 10 bucks. <laughs> Probably so, but here's the thing. Whenever we did Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Week and Dunkin' Donuts, uh, this won the whole week. Not this one, but the Starbucks version of it won the whole week. We loved it. So is this gonna be comparable? So well, I don't know, but look at it. it it looks like it came from Walmart, does it not? Yeah, because the frosting <laughs> is already falling apart. Exactly, and I gotta say, I'm pretty freaking annoyed by that. I, How did you mess this up, Walmart? Like, come on. It's a packaged item, and then all of the icing just oozed out onto the top. Like, that's already a, a demerit off for me. But I will say, this is very soft. As long as it's good. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. This is like fall apart softly. Look at this, it's just breaking apart whenever I pick it up. So hopefully it's gonna be good. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up we buy it again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. This is a good product from Walmart for a dollar. It's not too sweet. And here's the thing. It's not very pumpkinish as I was expecting. I would call this more like a spice cake. Hmm. The frosting really sucks. It's at the top. I wish it was actually spread out on the side here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's soft. It's good. Thumbs up. Okay, for me, this is going to be a thumbs up. I would buy this again. Honestly though, if I had my choice, if there was a Walmart and a Starbucks right next to each other and I really wanted a pumpkin loaf, I would go pay more for the Starbucks one because I feel like the flavor was better on it. However, that usually doesn't happen. Usually Starbucks and Walmart are not right next to each other. So yeah, I'd buy this again for sure. I would go with this just because it's cheaper. I mean, you know, that is a consideration. Here's what I feel like though. I feel like this has a little bit less flavor than the Starbucks one. It is pretty much like a spice cake, but not even like a spice cake. It's like spice cake. It's very light in flavor. It's not as punchy as I wanted it to be. And surprisingly, it's very moist. It's like pudding. It's a very moist. I like that though. I would prefer that over a dry cake. I agree. Now, surprisingly, I love icing, but this one, I feel like it made it sickeningly sweet. Like this upper part, whenever I would take bites off just the top that had the icing. I think that's why it would have been better if they spread it on like the side. Like a glaze. Yeah, so it's a glaze, okay. exactly, yeah. Yeah, I think that that would actually work because having a big thick chunk of it, it was a lot and I actually preferred the bottom half of it more than the top half that had the icing. And the Starbucks one doesn't have icing, so that's why I think I kind of prefer that one because it was just a little bit better overall. But this is a perfectly fine product. I would not call it a dupe for Starbucks though. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.